if some of you might have done like a Facebook post before, which is where say you just put up like an open house or whatever and you click the boost post button mm -hmm. and then they charge it, you know, whatever amount of money they charge it. And then basically all that does is it just sits in the timeline of Facebook, the feed or whatever. So what I do is I just kind of take it a step um, further and see this sign over here, mm -hmm. like next to everybody's stuff where you'll see like little ads on here where it says sponsor and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's where your ad would go. Okay. So you can do anything from... Instead of going in the news feed. Well, it will go there too, but it goes on the side as well. Now, of course, those ads are annoying to you unless you're looking for something like a house and all of a sudden mm -hmm. then you click on it. And it goes to your website. So... How I have to blurt this out. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it is annoying, and I always wonder. Like I go, wow, how did they know I was shopping online? It's all being tracked. tracked. Yeah, 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 it's like freaky. Cookies, stuff cookies, and whatever they do, I don't know. But um, somehow, whatever algorithms they use, they figure it out. But when you're, and I'll get to that in a minute. But what what you're doing with the ads is you're able to target people by all kinds of different ways from, um, there's actually a setting on there where, where you can actually see somebody that's ready to sell in six months, somebody that's ready to possibly buy in six months, just men, just women, just a certain area, certain demographic of income range, whatever. So you can get as specific as you want with the ads. Um, I'm going to show you one that I ran over the weekend. So you're First saying of all, this is a different kind of ad than just hitting boost your open house mm -hmm. for five dollars or exactly. whatever. It's totally different. Yep. Okay. Yep, because with well, as far as I know, boost your post, you can't decide who you want to see it either. Right. And you can set your demographics. You can. You can, you can, can. You can set yeah. your demographic. Yeah. Sure and you and there's no guarantee it. about the number. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. With with this, you're going to get and we'll let me get there. I'll show you. I'm going to manage ads first. How you get that your ads would be that arrow up there. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see. I'm not responsible for how slow the network is. How long have you been utilizing this feature? Um, using it for years. I used it for a video company I owned years ago too, but for real estate, I guess the past like three years. Um, so you can have so the sense you just hover over it and it clicks. I know, it, give you a it chance. goes right on it. You're able to track what you're getting out of it. Now. Yeah, that's what I was going to show you here with this. I ran one over last weekend. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Alright, so an ad that I ran over last weekend, what I did was, you can set the price, so I did $5 a day, so you're never going to spend more than what the amount of money you put in there per day. And I always kind of found that the Facebook ads seemed to work a little better on the weekend. I don't know, it just seems more people were just on there goofing off. So I'll do like an extended weekend, like a Thursday to a Monday a lot of times, but I don't really do anything like Tuesday through Thursday or nothing like that. Um, you could, but I just never found the results to be too promising. So over here you'll see the results. 150 people actually clicked on the um, the ad that I had. I reached 3,000 people. It doesn't really matter too much if only 150 right. people clicked on it, but the cost was 13 cents per click. But again, it was $5 a day. And I ran it over four days, so it came out to be just under 20 bucks, 1979 or whatever. So I'll show you the ad. See on the right side over here? Mm -hmm. All right, so all you got to do, and we're going we're gonna to create one in a second too. I just wanted to show you how it, how it looks, I guess. But you've seen them all before, whether it's in your feed or on the side of the Facebook page. You can write the text you want above the picture, you put the picture in, and then you put a link. So um, what I had just found is that, see where it says Levittown Foreclosures and Short Sales, and below that, there's the actual website link, okay? You can go, what I'm, go, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to direct people to exactly what I'm advertising. So if I put up there, final foreclosures and short sale properties in Levittown, they clicked on that and just went to the homepage of my website, then what? What do, they, what do they do? So what I did was I made it so when they click on that, 
image, it goes right to the search page of our website that actually has all the foreclosures and short sales in Levittown. And you can all do that with your KW page. Everybody has their own KW website, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you go on there and you do a search for whatever it is, um, whatever you want to advertise. So just stick with this. So I went in there and I typed in foreclosures and short sales in Levittown. No price range, just all the short sales and foreclosures. You take the link that's up in the address bar, you copy that link and put it anywhere mm -hmm. and click on that link again in a week, it's going to refresh now all the short sale mm -hmm. and foreclosure properties in Levittown. So that link's always going to be good for you. Okay. And they're drawn back to your page. Yes, exactly. So, right back to your page. so now when people click on that, they're getting what they're asking for, which is very specific. Okay. Um, what I did is I took it a step further again, which is, see down at the bottom where it says Levittown Real, it kind of gets cut off, but LevittownRealEstateDeals.com. So that's as simple as, and I can help anybody with this individually, but if you go to like GoDaddy or... So you bought that domain. Yeah, and it's like $10 a year. Yeah. And then I directed that link I just told you about to that site. It's not even a site, it's just it just forwards right to our KW page. So now it just has a nice name to it, mm. LevittownRealEstateDeals.com. But all it's doing is going to the KW. Do you site. have multiple ones, websites, names? Or yeah, I have a couple okay. different ones okay. for different ads. Yeah, okay. for different things, yeah. Um, probably the worst one I ever tried was Million Dollar Homes. It's like, oh, I'm going down for million dollar properties and that one person clicked like, on Because I know so many billionaires. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was giving a shot. <laughs> Why not? I still have the domain, but... Uh, um, all right, so you can see what it looks like over here. I mean, that's basically what it looks like over on the side. Now, that picture. Is that... The picture. Okay, so the picture, I just went... I, how legal it is, I think it's pretty legal. Just go to Google, okay. find Google Images, mm -hmm. and just find something just that, to me, that, that picture right there says foreclosure all over it. Right. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but speaking of that, see how the, the text in the picture is very mm -hmm. small? Facebook won't allow you to put an image up that is just covered with text. Uh-uh. It'll just decline your ad, I guess because it looks just crappy, uh, whatever. So if you're when you're going to find an image, make sure it's just more image related than it is text related, and you'll be just fine. I don't know what the ratio is. Just some kind of like ten percent can only be text. I don't know what it is, but all right, let's just create an ad. Yeah, so so ad is different than boosting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So once you go to create ad, you'll get just this this whole plethora of choices here. So you want to go to send people to your website. That's what you want everybody to do. So you click on that. Am I going to be able to schedule this to start on a certain date? Actually, you can. Okay. You can schedule it to start and stop at a certain time. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, so let's see. So we got, this is just happens to be showing the stuff that I've had in there already. Um, but I would suggest before you do this that you have a good idea of what you're going to advertise and what you're going to point people to. The biggest thing I can tell you is don't just go search for homes because people are doing that so many other places it's ridiculous. They're going to Zillow or Truly, wherever they're going, what, what makes yours any different? So try and get as specific as you as you possibly can. Like I did one, I don't know if it's on there or not, but you're, there's a bus guy in million dollar homes. I fall flat on your face. But, um, you live in your life. There's one in there I did for Yardley Condos. Yeah, I did that. So I just went and I got the link, yardleycondos.com. I believe it was available. Um, and again, just went to my website and just searched all the condos in Yardley. Um, we were supposed to get a big storm last year over a weekend. I went hailing everything. So I went in there. I, I did something with... Um, hey, sorry, I'm showing the houses. I did something with... Um, again, I was specific. Houses in Langhorne with garages because I knew people were you know, thinking about the elements that weekend, having a car in the garage with the hail, so I did that. I got a pretty good response from that one, too, but I forget the link I purchased for that one. It was like Langhorn, uh, homeswithgarages.com or something like that. But have a good idea of what you want to advertise before you get here. You like that part? <laughs> What's that? You like that part. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. Um, it makes sense. It does because now you're here and you're going, okay, what do, what you do gotta I You've got to give them a reason to click it. Yeah, and, and if you do the shortcut to this is 
You don't necessarily have to do what I just said. Go to GoDaddy, get a link, and point it. It just looks prettier. Because in the ad, down the bottom, it'll say Levittown Real mm -hmm. Estate Deals. Otherwise, like I've done before, because I did some shortcuts. Um, I think I did at least, didn't I? Yeah, okay, see right here? Where it says buscountyhomevalue.com, this and blah, blah, blah. It's like, what is that? You're not even really sure what that is. So I just like it to look pretty, that's all. So if you don't want to do that, then go to your site, do the search you want, whatever it is. Um, Yardley Condos, for example. Take that, that live link that's up there, copy and paste it right here. And just put it right in here. So for this case, I'm just going to do Levittown Real Estate Deals again. Because you've got to put something in there that won't let you move forward. Okay, and then it's going to ask you, this Facebook pixel, I have no idea what that is, I just don't worry about it, it's kind of new. But the campaign name, um, like, you know, name it something if you're running it Memorial Day weekend, and name it, you know, whatever, uh, uh, Memorial Day ad or something. Okay, and here's going to be where you're deciding where to place your ad. I just leave them all checked. I mean, it makes sense to me just to wherever they want to advertise it, feel free. <laughs> yeah. And then down here is your budget and your schedule. Okay, so I, like I said, you can do any, I don't know what the maximum is, but I the minimum I think is five. <laughs> so I pretty much just stick around five hours a day for the daily budget. And then like you were saying, Dot, here you can start. There you go. So here you can just start, like I'll do it for this weekend. I'll just do 26th. To, I think it's a Tuesday. I'll book the weekend there. Can we do a favorite spot to the top? Mine didn't go to that. Yeah, mine didn't go to that. Mine went to choosing a location. Is that what you're Yeah. Yeah, see how this, it's just not loading for some reason right now. Oh. I'm not exactly sure why I hate that. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. It um, went right to location. It didn't even go. Yeah, I don't know if it's just this is slow right now or something. I just figured eventually it would pop up and I would go to it. But. <laughs> um, Did you want to send people to your website? Maybe if I go back a second. Because that is kind of important. I just want to Yeah, no, because it's just going right to add set to find your budget. So placement isn't in there for you? Mm -mm. Huh. I think it might be down yeah. the bottom. Placements. Let me just click on it. Yeah, for, yeah, for me, under audience, placement is in a box. There you go. you got to go, go over on the left hand side under add set and mm -hmm. click on placement. Gotcha. And then, and then it, it will say choose your placements and then you can choose them. Right. For audience, do you choose? The entire United States, or do you oh, focus? Oh, no. yeah. yeah. That's where I'm stuck. I don't see where I can just do Box County, or can you just do Box? I do Philadelphia. Yeah. Like you want, so if it's like if you're doing Bucks County Homes County. for sale, mm -hmm. you want to grab like a little bit of Philly who want to move in the box. Right. Let's see if it works now. There we go. It's trying. Mm -hmm. And how often do you do these? Pretty much when I remember. <laughs> you know, I just, I, I, I really should do it every weekend, and well, you like, do it Memorial Day, I'll definitely do it. You know, um, holiday weekends always. Mm -hmm. you know, I think it's you know, cool. Yeah. Um, I definitely try and get it out there. I don't know what, what's happening here, guys. It's just not loading for some reason. The Wi-Fi is probably not great. I mean, I can't, I can't really show you unless it loads up here. <laughs> but you're going to set your, you know, your demographic, obviously I don't do, you know, the whole age range I like to do, you know, maybe like 24, you know, and up. And then what I'll do is I'll pick, if I'm doing Levittown Real Estate Deals, that one, I'll just do a 25 mile radius outside of Levittown. I figure that's pretty good. That's a pretty decent, you know, radius there. And this way people that are only within 25 miles of there, because if you do the whole U.S., what, you know, what good is somebody in California going to... Yeah. And you buy a domain name every time? No, a shortcut would be not to, but with, I kind of... You know, fall victim to yeah. just repeating what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, so I just keep the same. Okay. Man, I can... Do you point the domain name to your website or mm -hmm. to something other? Yeah, point it to, you've probably done this before too, where you do, 
Like the one ad I had is for LevitownRealEstateDeals.com. That's the domain name I bought. Right. But I point that to, if you go on your KW page and search foreclosures and short sales in Levittown, and I'll just point it to that address. And then it always refreshes itself. This is what our website does, thankfully. So if you click on that same link a week from now, it's going to be all the new foreclosures and short sales, or whatever it is for sale at the time. I, I don't know. I can just hit refresh, maybe. Hmm. I'm, I'm doing what you told us to do, and then I came up with the stuff that you didn't discuss. I'm sorry. So I must have done something. It says create a pixel. No, we skip that one. That's something new. Yeah, right? that's what I was saying. It comes up right here after you click on your, yes. your link, and it's right there. Uh, I never use it. I, I just, it's something I new to start popping up. I don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe it's, I think it has something to do with the fact they advertise on Instagram now or something. I don't have an Instagram account, so I guess that's something I should do as well. Why won't you load? Because it's going slow. Okay. Well, guys, unfortunately, I'm not able to create an ad unless. Can you go through another browser just to see if it's crazy? Maybe. Yeah. Has everybody here boosted their post before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says boost post and you click there. <laughs> That's why we've done that before. <laughs> yeah, but like I was saying uh, before you came into what that does is that's going to just stay in people's news feeds. So you're not going to see the ad on the side of you know, the page and everything. And, and Zip code, I always just went to right, right to um, a town. Okay. So. Oh, zip code works too, though, John. Yeah, it does work. I've done zip code. Just, I just, before. I didn't know that, but there it goes. Okay, so we just go to Levittown. I mean, again, I'm going to stick with what I got here to Levittown Real Estate Deals, but I'll just put one up for the weekend. So, um, it just says right here, Levittown, Pennsylvania, plus 25 miles. So it kind of defaults to that. You can wow. change it to. Can you change it? Can you lower that? Yeah, you can change it to 10 miles. You know. Seems far, seems far, 25 miles from me. Uh -huh. I, but I, just, I don't know what you're trying to do. So you know what I mean? Like, well, basically, that's just for it's levittownrealestatedeals.com. So it just points to a certain page on the website that allows you to search on those distressed properties. So I just figured that people looking to do that probably aren't necessarily outside. first time home buyers. They're you know investors and stuff coming from Jersey, whatever. So and you can see that. Gotcha. It kind of that makes sense to me, just for the purpose. But yeah, for me. Uh, when I'm not doing like foreclosures and stuff like that, say to give you an example, I might do 19067. So, you know, I'm doing lower rate field yard and stuff like that. Yeah. I narrow it down as close oh, yeah. as I can because I want to. Yeah. I want them He's to specific. see those people. Oh yeah. I don't remember, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. It's perfect sense. So it's it's depending on what you're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then so we got the yeah. location set. 
<laughs> Age wise, I don't see too many 18 year olds that are probably going to be ready to do this anytime soon. So I'll start with my 24. I'll do re up. That didn't work. I'll do just men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 The 24 age didn't work. It, oh, okay. it didn't click for some reason. Hmm. There you go. That's what I'm not is it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. And something different that Facebook started doing recently, too, because I, I didn't have much success with this ad that I ran one time, but I have a, a site, it's just findthevalueofmyhouse.com. And I tried doing an ad where it was like a generic picture of a you know a man and woman you know hugging with the sold sign behind them and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. I think a bunch of a response from it, but you can actually target here now if you go to browse and use behaviors. You can scroll down to <laughs> go back. There There's no button in there. I mean, no. Yeah. Try the mouse thing, like the scroll. Yeah. yeah. There we go. But you can't get past this. I know. I'm trying to do the. Oh, there, you there we go. Uh, Purchase. There we go. There we are. Residential profiles. Look at that. Likely to move, new mover, recent. Obviously, I don't want a recent home buyer, but. Um, you know, likely to move is pretty darn good, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, because, I mean, that's for, not it's necessarily for this ad in particular, but if you're doing some kind of other ad, like you want your point somebody to a page that says, you know, get the value of my house, that's a pretty good one to, to you know, probably target in on. Mm -hmm. You know? So how do they know you're likely to move? You put that in at some point somewhere? I guess the way Facebook follows stuff around, yeah. I, I, I mean, just like if you go on and look for new sneakers right now and tomorrow, Yep. You're on Facebook. Like, you're I just was on that Facebook. Like, why is it yeah. sitting right there? <laughs> like, they know. It's scary. Yeah, yeah it is kind of scary, actually. But with this, I'm not really going to worry right. about demographics for this. Um, connection type. Um, I don't do anything with he with this either. Um, you can look into it, I guess, at your own discretion if you want. But, um, again, placements. I just leave it the way it is. And then budget and schedule. That's where. You can change. Can you change that to weekly or on the left? Yeah, I monthly and weekly. Let me see what it does. The you can do a lifetime budget. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> so, wow. One minute. Now, what does that mean? Well, I guess it means once you set your starting <laughs> date time here. It means write your banking account number in there. <laughs> <laughs> Give her credit. Card. Yeah. I'll start this. I'll just run it over the weekend. So I'll start the 26th and then go back to. Okay, so I guess the difference here would be if you want to do lifetime budget for that start right. and end date, mm -hmm. you can say I'm just going to throw a hundred bucks at it, and however much they do per day. You know, okay, but well, you put the dates in. Yeah, I've always just done five hours a day. I didn't even know that was there to be honest. Okay. So most I'll spend twenty five bucks from Thursday to Tuesday. It's not bad. And then link clicks to your website. That's perfect. I leave this as automatic. Let Facebook set the bid. All right. And then. Link click, exactly what you want. Run ads all the time. This is what, I mean, I never really messed with this. I guess you could you could tell Facebook, I don't want my ad to run 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. But I know all of us have gotten these at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, I mean, why mm -hmm. not people are online? Yeah. So. <laughs> Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? Yeah, and here, see, it's delivery. See, they keep adding stuff, too. They add stuff all the time. Like, this wasn't there before. You know, show your ads throughout the day recommended, or show your ads as quickly as possible. Oh. I just keep that as standard. Mm -hmm. And then you can you can um, you know name the ad set. So I'll just keep it up for the town. Is that what people see or not? No, nobody no, sees okay. that. It's all for your own reference. All right. So we have a demographic and all that stuff set. This is where you create the actual ad. So like I was saying, I think Kelly, you're asking where do I get the image from. So. Um, I'll just go on the, to Google, you know, search images and pull something that I think is pretty relevant to what we're doing. So, 
go back here and just type in, like, say I type in foreclosure. Okay. And like I was saying, Facebook is not going to allow you to put, like, something like this up. It's just too much text. They just don't, mm -hmm. they just don't let you do that. This would be fine, something like that, because there's no text. But it just has to be limited with the amount of text that's in your picture. So the home for sale signs wouldn't work either. Right. Right. None of that stuff wouldn't work. They would just take it right down. They would just they wouldn't just wouldn't approve the ad. Uh, um, Keep hmm. it simple. Mm -hmm. So like this would work. Something like that. That looks pretty beat up. Grass growing high. Mm -hmm. Like that. As long as there's nothing on there, if it was like Remax foreclosure, obviously I'm not going to use that, but um, I'm trying. Alright, so basically just search, I'll just use that one right there, it's fine for now. I'm not sure if this computer is going to allow me to save anything. I just thought, yeah. like, will it or no? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. That's well, a nice house sure. here in your view. We'll just save image as. Take it off and we're done. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's light. Okay. I don't know what the rules and regulations were here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I have the image saved on the computer. Alright, so down here, just go to images, browse for library. Upload. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I have stuff in my library. Same picture, like that. Once you up, once you upload some of these, there's some of the ads I've done in the past, I guess, then it's going to actually show you, you know, some of your images from before. Mm -hmm. So I'll just use that. Looks like that picture. Sure. There's the image there, and then it'll give you the option of doing multiple images. The only reason you would do that would be that every, as your ad cycling through Facebook, it'll just randomly select which image it wants to use, I guess so it makes it look different in case the same person sees it. But I've always just kept going. So down here is where you're actually going to create the ad. So it kind of puts in for you what it thinks based on your, I guess the website link that you put in there, how you want it to look. So see how it already put the link down the bottom, Levittown Real Estate Deals, Levittown Homes for Sale, mm -hmm. Find Homes for Sale on Levittown, blah, blah, blah. It just kind of gave you that. If it looks good and you want to roll with it, feel free. But over here, on the left-hand side, is where you can change all that. So the headline, you would think the headline's up top, but it's not. Headline is actually at the bottom of the image. I don't know why. But <laughs> so if you want to do find all Foreclosure and short sales and now do they have to approve this? Is there a wait time? It's very it's very quick though. Mm -hmm. it's really quick. I mean I'm not even sure what they do to approve it. But they'll tell you they're working on it and within your first ad will, it might take a little bit longer, but as you do more and more, you know, they just approve it almost right away. So that headline goes right there. Then the text is what it's like. So, up top here, like I said, it kind of gave you an idea of what you could write. So I'll put find all distressed. Yes, I did. <laughs> Do you want right now? Property goes in that now. Say call to action is optional. So 
I mean, the choices they have, or some of them are for like, if say you're a retailer and you're putting up, um, you know, sweaters that you're selling or whatever. Eventually, this pops up and it starts to run. You'll see the options there. So you'll have the, that's new, the no button, apply now, book now, contact us, donate now, whatever. Um, learn more seems to be a pretty good one. So I don't want to do sign up for sure because that'll freak people out. Um, or shop now, that sounds too corny. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, contact us and learn more. They're pretty much, I guess, the two you could go with. Learn more doesn't sound like you're going to be contacted. So I guess I like that one. Here's one thing I want to point out too. Here's the beauty of this. This is going to go out. I mean, your friends are going to see this, friends of friends, and just people you don't even know. In the desktop version of this ad, see where it says Canada Real Estate, Canada Real Estate? Right next to that, they're just automatically, you can't even change it. It just says like page. So what some people end up doing is they're scrolling through and they see that ad and they just like the page. So pretty much I'm guaranteed every time I put an ad up to at least get a few likes on the page because people just, for some reason, think they're liking the ad. They're Which liking the page. Pulls it in so the that puts it on my page is a So they're liking your page, your real or yeah. page, not uh, yeah. this page. Right. Okay. right, exactly. So that's just like an extra added bonus, I guess. And then down the bottom, you'll see where that learn more button is. But if you want to see, all you're looking at on the right-hand side here is a preview of your ad. So right now, you're looking at the desktop news feed. If you want to go down and see what it will look like mobile news feed, that would be if somebody's on their phone. This is what it will look like there. Same thing. It doesn't say like, it just has the thumb up button. Find distressed properties for sale in Levittown. So, you know, just condenses it a little bit. That's all. So, and then Instagram out. I mean, again, I don't want to tell anything about that. But, and then once you're done with this and you like everything, all you do is you hit place order. If you don't have an account set up through Facebook yet, I, it, you know, links with your PayPal account, you can put a credit card in, you can do any of that stuff. And then once you hit place order, you don't have to keep, you know, putting stuff in all the time. It just automatically, you know, takes your money. How do you gauge your, the success? So an ads manager, you can see how many, like, post clicks and yep. what, you go, what do you consider to be a good return um, really if I run an ad for a weekend and again you got to remember these people are going to your website so everybody has their, their site set up differently uh, where somebody goes on and within three you know three properties they have to sign up they change it now where you can up that to seven properties or whatever it is then they sign up so pretty much what you want people to do is go on there and sign up so you want to make it so they're only on there for a short amount of time before they have to give their information and then it goes to your market leader and all that stuff. So what I do is I just base it on if I get a decent amount of people signing up on the website. Not the clicks, because the clicks don't really mean anything right. to me. Like last weekend, I, I didn't have a good response last weekend. And I think it's because I was a dummy. And I changed the website to allow people to be on there longer before they had to sign up. Um, and now we have the new website. I know. And I don't know why I did that. I did it, and I forgot I did it. <laughs> so the one weekend that I did it, um, I'm telling you, there was at least 15 different people that signed up on the website. Now, of course, some of those people are just right on there, I got to put my name in, whatever, and they put a name in like Charlie Brown. Yeah, but, um, you know, there are some definitely serious people, but now they're on your website too and they're signed up, so now you can see when they continue to come back and look for new properties. Do you get That's people going. out of this consist consistently? I get people signed up on the website, yeah. Do you get buyers that... I'm not running buyers like every weekend from this or anything, right. but... I'm also not doing it every weekend. And, you know, again, it's because you forget sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, like, this weekend, I think will be a good weekend. So, if you're ever going to do one, you know, get one out. I mean, get creative with it. Do something where uh, maybe you have an image of something that has to do with Memorial Day or something. Or um, if anybody's a vet, I don't know, maybe do like, you know, 10% off of uh, your closing costs. Or not 10%, but whatever. If you're a vet, I don't know, something goofy. But there's all kinds of things you can do to grab people's, people's attention with these ads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know? Thanks, oh, Dad. I know. Yeah. You do something with, because a lot of people have barbecues. So mm -hmm. maybe you do something with, uh, I don't know, you barbecues. Yeah, but how do you, how do you search homes with yards? <laughs> barbecues. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like you want to be like keyword barbecues yeah. that have a nice, that have a backyard, yard, yeah, yard big enough Any to do pools? keyword or pools. Yeah, that's actually a great one. We do one with. Um, Don't steal my idea. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I didn't do that, dude. I mean, honestly, I'm not that would be a great that. one for this weekend. I'm gonna be putting flags out all weekend. My neighborhood. Yeah, I got some. Too. Are you gonna yeah, get the flags? Yeah, flags to walk around. Hello. I want to do my hair buns again. Exercise. Yeah, you know what? You can go. I'm pretty sure our site will now search by pools. There you go. Well, well, you know, yeah. yeah. So now you have all the homes in wherever, say, bus County that have pools. And put an ad up. Especially it's supposed to be like 90 degrees. Yeah, get a nice picture of a pool. pool. Refreshing. Search. That would be awesome. There's the pool. Yep. Alright, I gotta get a fast swimming. Yeah. 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 We're all gonna have pool ads. Yeah. Alright, thanks Ken. You are welcome. See you guys. Bye honey. Yeah. Bye. I did one and I but for ran, it ran for two weeks. I think I've gotten five people who've registered. Put them right. all over the country because I didn't know that you could I know, that's yeah. That's the part that I didn't realize. I guess the guy <laughs> in California went on and um, yeah, all over the place. Why don't you think you have a window head open? No, I know. Like, about six months ago, I tried to place an ad. Uh, one of the JD Power ones. It was too much. Facebook kept kicking it back to me. I was too much. I got discouraged. So I thought I was doing something wrong. Where I just discovered that I wasn't. What do you guys think? Was it affordable enough? Yeah.